All right, folks, welcome back. I know things have been more than a little demoralizing over the weekend, but I promise this is going to make you feel a little bit better. The idea of equal justice is not playing out here. And so that's a real concern to all Americans. So as a policymaker, elected officials, we want to make sure it's equal justice for all. We want to look that it's a weaponization. Now, what, you, are you with CNN, right? <laughs> Whoopie fucking do. Okay, so let's talk about this even further because when somebody weaponizes government and they actually get removed from government, let's take Andrew McCabe, okay, former d deputy. But this is no, a different no, well, let me, case. no, no, let me answer this is the a question. Different set of circumstances. He's in, boys. He did it. He said it. <laughs> She actually said it. <laughs> it's different when they do it. Right? I mean, the former president is accused of misleading law enforcement, of a conspiracy of obstructing justice. That's a different set of facts. Are you prepared to defend him as the former president? And what other actions will the House take in the House Judiciary Committee in terms of funding? Are you prepared to defend your your network, CNN? That I'm handed, you I'm, a, I'm answering speaker. your question. You could ask me any question you want, but I'm entitled to answer the question, okay? You can't put words in my mouth. Even though your network can hire Andrew McCabe, who was fired from the FBI for leaking classified documents. Did you remove him from your network? I don't think so. Quickly, I just want to add, McCabe didn't just get fired for leaking classified information, but he also lied under oath about it. Yet, the DOJ and the FBI still chose not to prosecute. I'm so surprised. No, you continue to put him on to give judgment against President Mr. Trump. Speaker. You also hire Clapper. Clapper has come out publicly. Mr. Speaker, and what steps I the House going, what steps is the House going to take in terms of is there any effort to defund the FBI, any effort to defund the Department of Justice after what you've seen over the last several days? So your network hires Clapper, who literally lied to the American public, one of 51 other individuals that had briefings and used it politically to tell the American public that a laptop was Russia collusion, even though it had all this information about the Biden administration. Are you prepared to get rid of those people from your network? Because my concern as a policymaker is that when you weaponize government and now you're weaponizing networks, that is wrong. So we will take all of our power to make sure that the legal system in America gets the blinders back on and people are treated fairly. I have a real problem that your network actually pays people Speaker who McCarthy. did classified information and then lied to the American public to try to influence a presidential election and then you put them on your network to give an but, opinion but about, about a president, president and, a, and I'm Trump. answering your your but you're not answering what Oh, that, very clearly what because what your network do. has done has weaponized at the same time. I think equal justice is important for all. God damn right. <laughs> that was intensely enjoyable. Kevin McCarthy continues to gain my confidence. However, I do want to add that James Clapper's lies go much deeper than just his election interference. He also lied under oath about the NSA's domestic spy program. Unfortunately, as usual, the Democrats and their state media are held to completely different standards than their political opponents. But isn't it interesting that neither McCabe or James Clapper were ever charged for those crimes? All right, folks, just a quick feel good video for you today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please share it, hit that like button, subscribe, and make sure to leave a comment to continue the discussion. Thanks a lot. I'll see you all in the next one.